Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. The beginning of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom is the fear the God of the Bible, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, who the ignorantly call God. You see, He is, He exists. And Yahweh Shai, who the ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? He saves, He delivers. The beginning of wisdom is to fear them, man. The, the, look, gotta start off the week with that. Start off the week with fearing the Lord, right? Once again, Proverbs 1 7, the fear of the Lord. I love the Lord, but I love the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge. The scripture don't come out enough. The Lord said, look, look, go out there and tell them to fear me. They keep hollering this love nonsense. Look, well, if, if you fear the Lord, you most definitely gonna love him. Our people don't even know it's 2021. And according to the Bible, our people don't even know what love is, according to the Bible. Love is keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. That's what love is. The Lord said, fear me. That's the beginning of knowledge, but fools, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, despise wisdom and instruction. That's why That's why you see a whole lot of people getting chosen off the earth. Many of you Israelites. Why? Because there's no fear. There's no fear of the Heavenly Father or His only begotten Son. When the scriptures say, um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of Him accepting you, man. The Lord ain't accepting no Israelite that's not fearing him, right? Let's see. Sirach chapter 34 verse 14. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Look, the Lord said, look, you fear me, you ain't got to fear nothing else. Now, of course, we're in the flesh, of course. We're in the flesh. But we know we've been fearing the Lord the whole time. So everything is coming, remember. All these things were created for the wicked. Let me, let me get that right quick. Quick little lesson. This ain't going to be nothing long. This is going to be something, something real short and to the point. Still in the book of Sirach, the 40th chapter. Listen. Sirach, chapter 40, verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation. Look, look, I'm reading it nice and slow so you can hear these words. Tribulation and the scourge, the scourge means to whip. These things are created for the wicked. These things, definite structure, was created for the wicked Israel. And for their sakes came the flood. Look, if you know you've been doing what is right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of your ability, look, you ain't got nothing to worry about. We have nothing to worry about. That's our faith, right? Once again, going right back. Sirach chapter 34, verse 14, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shachar, remember, the beginning of wisdom, right? Shall not fear, nor be afraid, because Sleazy eat, Esau eat him, coming in like a flood. He coming in with wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. But if you fear the Lord, then you ain't got nothing to be afraid about. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got to worry about where you're going to eat at. Or, 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 or who's going to protect you. Or where you gonna get some water at? You see? You ain't gotta worry about that if you fear your how about Shimia was shy. For he is his hope, man. Alright? And then, like I quoted earlier, fearing the Lord is the first steps of him accepting you, man. Fearing your how about Shimia was shy is the first steps of him accepting you, man. And then the scripture, remember. The scriptures tell us, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Family members don't want to get it. Loved ones don't want to get it. Hey, look, man. You got to move on. You got to seek salvation for yourself, man. Let's get that. Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the first step to be accepted of him. You want the Lord to accept you? 
You want the Lord to show you compassion. You want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to embrace you, to comfort you, to protect you. Then we got to fear. If we want protection from the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, guess what we got to do? Look, look, you guessed it. Fear. You look, look, you guessed it. Fear. We must fear if we want protection. I got to read that again. Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love and look and we, we read fear is the beginning of wisdom so you want to obtain love if you want to obtain love from the heavenly father and the only begotten son guess what we got to fear and that was plain too still in the book of Sirach Sirach chapter 1 verse 7 uh, Sirach chapter 1 verse 21 the fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai driveth away sins because when you fear the Lord, it's certain things that you're not going to do. It's, it's certain boundaries that you're not going to step up, uh, uh, step over. You know what I'm saying? And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Where, where the fear of the Lord is, when, when a man or a woman, an Israelite man or woman has the fear of the Lord on them, it turns away the wrath of the Lord. You see, and then that's thing you know, you see a person that don't fear the Lord, you see the wrath of the Lord, get on that person, man. You see? Th this is how this thing works. You see the Israelites that fear the Lord, they're comforted, they're protected. You see the Israelites that don't fear the Lord, he brings wrath upon them, man. He burns them up in house fires, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he kills them in car crashes, you know what I'm saying? He, um, he swallows them up during an earthquake, has a building fall on them and everything. You, you see, you, you get the logistics of where I'm going, right? You see? Let's see, let's see what else. Let's see. Bear with me. Um, let's see. I get that. I, I mean, we always get Sirach, the tenth chapter, the, the second chapter, verse ten. So I'm gonna get that. Sirach chapter two, verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and what's confounded. No. Or did any abide in his fear and what's forsaken? No. Or whom did he ever despise to call upon him? None, man. All right. We calling on Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Look, we're not going to be despised for calling on our power, for believing in our power, right? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveth sins. That's why we must repent. And saveth in the time of affliction if we fear. And look, all that, all that starts off being saved in the time of affliction. Guess what, Israel? All that starts off with fear. All that starts off with fear, man. Nothing but fear, right? Psalms 34, 9. Re remember, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. Why? Because he feared the Lord. Psalms 34, 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ye his saints, meaning the Israelites. For there is no one to them that fear him. You, you're going to eat. You're going to drink. Why? Because you fear the Lord. And don't wait till all hell break loose to start fearing your power. F fear him now. Remember the beginning of wisdom. Fear the Lord now. Don't wait. Why, I mean, why would you wait? I mean, Israel, you Israelites out there, you, you just bug the hell out. You see? Psalms 118 and 6. The Lord is on my side. See, when you fear the Lord, it builds confidence. You see, it builds faith. Which goes back to confidence. You see? When you fear the Lord, once again, Psalm 118 and 6, the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is on my side. Look, remember Israel, you know what I mean? Think, just think about it, Israel. You got the creator of the heavens and the earth and all these places. Look, the entity that created everything is on your side because you fear him. You, you can't beat that deal. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me? The only thing man can do is what the Lord allows him to do. Man is not, ain't no, remember, ain't no such thing as free will. We do not have free will, Israel. No one on earth has free will. Right? Right? No one has free will. Let's get, let's get that songs right quick. <laughs> like I said before, a quick little lesson. I, this, this ain't long at all. I got to head out. Time to go get that daily bread, right? Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. For the Lord Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. And his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, 
What are they going to call Jesus? He is to be feared. See? He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, meaning they're not real, but the Lord, Yahweh, made the heavens. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh made the heavens. That's why we must fear. He look, look, he's greatly to be praised and greatly to be feared. He's to be feared over, over all gods, man. Psalms 2 and 11, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Remember, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Let, let's see if I can get that. Let's get this, and then I'm going to see if I can get that before I close out. 2 Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7, wherefore now let the fear, remember, the beginning of wisdom, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no, look, 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 look. do it, man, just do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Because remember, he killed, he makes alive, he wounds, he heals, all that, right? I mean, I mean are, are, you, are you forgetting this? Are you forgetting this? Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord taking pleasure in them that fear him. The Lord is very well pleased with us fearing him. You see? Don't let no one tell you nothing different, Israel. And this is what I'm starting the week off with. Uh, a lesson on fearing the Lord. That's how you want to start your week off. And end your week off, right? The Lord, once again, Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy, right? Because that's, that's what we're going to need. Let's get this last one. This, this is my last one, Israel. Listen up good, Israel. This is my last one, right? Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. And I'm about to go. I'm about to head to work. Wherefore, my beloved, the house of David, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation. Worry about yourself first and foremost. Work out your own salvation. You you too worried about if your family member's gonna make it, if your woman's gonna make it, if your kids gonna make it. Look, man, if your mama gonna make it, your daddy gonna make it. No. The Lord said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You gotta make it first, Lord willing. Lord willing, they'll make it off the works, off, off you. Just like Noah. You know what I'm saying? He paid an ark to the saving of his household. You see? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Look, we pass this word out to the nation of Israel. Look, they don't want to take heed. We moving on. Working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Shalom.